told you they go down the sand. celebration of their marriage. Today, promises become permanent and friends become family. However, this day is not about the words spoken or rings exchanged, nor is it about grand pronouncements and recessional marches. This day 
the day of Melissa and Andy's wedding is all about love. One of my favorite authors once wrote, if love is not all, then it is nothing. This principle and its opposite collide down all of the years of my breathless tale. Melissa and Andy, your breathless tale is about to begin. If love is not all, then it is nothing. It's opposite. If love is all, then it is everything. It's going to be the basis for every aspect of your relationship. All you have to do is simply love one another. And that love shows through in everything you do for each other, in good times and in bad. Love isn't just a word, it's an action. Love isn't something you say, it's something you do. Love is genuine, honest and open, compassionate and kind, passionate and blind. Love doesn't know space or time nor look through jealous eyes. And in the modified words of Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never dies. There are many different kinds of love, almost if not all of which are represented here today. There's romantic love, love of parents and children, of brothers and sisters and family, and love among friends. Not only do R Melissa and Andy love one another romantically, and they do, you can see it in every look, every touch, every moment they're together. They also love each other as friends. In fact, they're best friends, constantly giggling and taunting and teasing, and very plainly and obviously having fun together. That love and enjoyment of each other as best friends will help sustain them throughout this marriage. In addition, the love collectively here today from friends and family will help sustain and support the promises that they're about to make. All of us here will help solidify this bond as these two individuals become husband and wife. Now this new journey will be at times richly rewarding, and sometimes it may be extremely difficult. But most importantly, it will be a journey that you both take together. Marriage is so much more than your signatures on a legal contract. You're promising in front of all of these people that you love, that you want to be with each other and only each other for the rest of your lives, and that you'll do everything in your power to honor the promises that you're about to make. And for their part, the people who love you will also do everything in their power to try to help you hold up your end of the bargain. Now at this time, may I ask that the parents of Melissa and Andy please rise for just a moment. This wedding is also a celebration of family. It's the blending of two families that have been separate up until this very moment but united from this day forward, blending their different traditions, strengthening the family tree. To honor the uniting of these families, Melissa and Andy wish to ask for their parents' blessing. So to Melissa's mom and dad, Mildred and Lazan, uh, Lorenzo, do you offer this couple your goodwill and do you welcome Andy as a member of your family and give him your love and affection? And Andy's mom, Grace, do you offer this couple your goodwill and you welcome Melissa as a member of your family and give her your love and affection. Now as everyone may know, Andy's father, David, could not be here today in person. However, Melissa and Andy feel his love and his support. So parents, please kindly be seated. I have a few questions for each of you. Do you, Andy, promise to take Melissa in the presence of God and family and friends as witnesses to be your wife, your partner in life, and your one true love? If so, look into her eyes and say, I do. And do you make a lifelong commitment to be considerate, tender, faithful, loving, to encourage comfort and cherish her in times of prosperity as well as in times of trouble. And lastly, Andy, do you promise to establish a loving home for your new family, to make her and your children your priority in life, and to nurture your special relationship always? And do you, Melissa, take Andy 
in the presence of God and our family and friends as witnesses to be your husband, your partner in life, and your one true love. If so, look into his eyes and say, I do. And you now make a lifelong commitment to be considerate, tender, faithful, a loving wife, to encourage, comfort, and cherish him in times of prosperity as well as in times of trouble. And lastly, do you pledge to establish a loving home for your own family, to make him and your children a priority in your life and to nurture your special relationship always? Now, Melissa and Andy, the vows that you're about to exchange serve as a verbal representation of the love that you have promised to each other. For it's not the words that you're gonna speak here today which will unite to you together as one, but the innermost sense of love and commitment that each of you feels within your soul. So Andy, I would ask at this time if you would please say your vows to Melissa. Almost 13 years now. Today you become my wife. I see these vows not as promises, but privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you, care for you and share with you. I get to learn with you and learn more of you. I get to build with you and live with you. Even with these privileges I receive, today I promise you this. I will share it in your dreams. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding. What I possess in this world, I give to you. I will comfort and hold you, protect and shelter you for all the days of my life. I am devoted to you in every way. I marry you with no hesitation or doubt. I will try in every way to be worthy of your love. I accept you as you are and offer myself in return. I love you unconditionally. Until I die, until I'm gone, until I can't see like me. You will be my queen. You will be my everything. sunrise and my sunset. You're who I would share my last dollar with. I'm yours. I'm sorry. Until my last hour is on yours. But until that day comes, just know it's you and me, sir, who I live life for. I'll wait for you there to love you forever. My best friend, my soulmate, and my life. I remember the first time I ever laid eyes on you. I never knew I would fall so deep in love with you. I'm very thankful to have met you because honestly, I cannot ever imagine my life without you, Andy. I have loved you for 13 years. And I will continue to love you for a million more. I promise to encourage, support, and to always believe in you. I promise to honor, respect, and cherish you all the days of our lives. I promise to always stay by your side no matter what we go through. But most of all, I promise to love you under any circumstances. Happy or sad, easy or difficult, through the sunshine and the rain, for the rest of my days, and I couldn't imagine growing old with anybody else. For better, for worse, till death do his part. I'll love you every, every beat of my heart, I swear. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And bind my life with yours. And bind my life with yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of my of all of my tomorrows. Melissa, 
to face the ring, I can face it. Good afternoon. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. And bind my life with yours. And bind my life with yours. It is a symbol of my eternal life. It, it is a symbol of my eternal life. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all of my tomorrows. And now to all of the friends and family who have come to celebrate this marriage, I would like to present for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Acevedo. Congratulations.